I was driving down the street, saw a prostitute, asked her how much. She said, $300, I'll do anything you want. I said, bitch, paint my house. <laughs> Because when you got a career, there ain't enough time in the day. There ain't enough time. When you got a career, you look at your watch, time just flies. You're like, God damn, whoa, it's 535. Damn, I got to come in early tomorrow and work on my project. Because there ain't enough time when you got a career. When you got a job, there's too much time. <laughs> That's right, you look at your watch like, ah, shit, 908. You don't even trust the time when you got a job. You're like, what time you got? 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 9.15? Whoever got the latest time is the right time. He got the right time. He got the right time. You ever played a time game with yourself at work? You ever played a time game where you go, I'm not going to look at my watch for two hours. That's right. I'm going to sit here and scrape these shrimp. Scrape, 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 scrape. Okay, hours pass. Maybe I should look. It feel good. Nah, fuck that. I'm gonna wait a whole nother hour. Scrape, 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 Time to look and feel good about myself. And you look, fuck, 15 minutes. You ever been so miserable at work that you spend extra time just sitting on the toilet? You don't even have your pants down. You're just like, I hate this fucking job. I hate it. People around you taking smelly shits. They don't even phase you. You're like, I don't give a fuck. You keep shitting, because I ain't quitting. <laughs> a lot of good movies out. Dead presidents, you know. Vampires and shit. A lot of cool shit. A lot of black movies. You know what's fucked up? There's no good black porno. A white porno flick is a real porno flick. Got actors and actresses and a plot. Even has extras. People walking around, they're not even fucking, just picking up shit and leave. <laughs> you ever see a black porno flick? They're the sorriest shit on earth. First of all, they film them on Viewmasters, all right? <laughs> there's no actors, no actors. It's just a bunch of naked black people sitting in a hotel room looking at a shitty camera going, is it on? Is it on? Well, give me money. I want my money. I'll fuck it, but I better get paid, all right? You watch a black porno flick, you always see old, out-of-work black actors, too. You're like, ain't that the guy from What's Happening? <laughs> ain't that the brother from Barney Miller? That's him. <laughs> you know those white guys got good? White guys got good, dirty magazines. White guys have Playboy and Penthouse and Hustler. You know what brothers got? Players Magazine. The lowest, dirtiest, nastiest magazine on the face of the earth. The pictures aren't even in focus. That's how bad it is, okay? <laughs> Just a bunch of pictures of black girls sitting on the toilet, right? <laughs> every, every time you love, you turn it, the girl's like, no, stop, close the door, close the door, damn it. You get Playboy, the girls are poles on nice and sexy, they got the pumps on, fishnets, ass all out, and pussy hair's combed. It's like pussy's got a perm. You get players, them girls are all mad, because they're only getting $10. Then Pip is taking eight. They all mad, they're like. <laughs> Pussy got dandruff. <laughs> and a bald spot. Don't know, don't know, don't know. A lot of women here, that's cool. I like women, mother's a woman, that helps. You know what's bug? Like whenever my female friends start talking about, you know, my boyfriend's crazy. I didn't know he was crazy. I didn't know he was out of his mind. He just flipped. Women, if you want to know if your man is crazy or not, just check out his relationship with his mother. So all you got to do, check out his relationship with his mother. Because he's like, hey, mom, 
fuck you. Kiss my ass. I don't give a fuck. I'll put this foot up your ass. If he's like that, then you're next. <laughs> late to school, late to work. So, women, 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 man. Women, women, women. I don't know, man. All you get the most shit you learn about. One thing you learn about women, man. Women don't like nice guys. Say they do, don't. They got to have an asshole first. Every woman goes through an asshole phase. They got to go up with Ike, then Mike. <laughs> That's right. You know what's bad? If you're a nice guy like me, you always get women after they've been out with an asshole. So now you got to be their boyfriend and their psychiatrist <laughs> to help them get over this psycho. That's right. For every 20 minutes of pussy, three hours of therapy. <laughs> You know, it's wild. It starts in childhood. It starts in childhood. Little girls like little bad boys. Like a little boy gives a little girl a Valentine's Day card. She don't want him. She don't want nothing to do with him. She wants a little boy to just punch her in the back and ran down the hall. Ooh, I love him. He's so cute. Then you grow up and you marry that same little boy. And next thing you know, you're on Oprah going, I don't know what I did to deserve this. It just ain't right. Yo, you picked that man. You chose that man. You know, you could have had nice boy Roy, but you picked Ass Whoop McGee. <laughs> Oprah, I love Ass Whoop. He's a good man. In between Ass Whoop, he reads poetry. The violets are blue, roses are red. Time to kick a bitch in the head. Hey, you know what they say. There's no reason to ever hit a woman. She. <laughs> She has a reason to hit everybody. Just don't do it. She has a reason to kick an old man down a flight of stairs. Just don't do it. Ain't nobody above an ass whooping. Okay? Anybody can give you a reason to hit. And women know this for a fact. Women, I don't even, men don't even got a back. Women know this for a fact. There ain't nothing more crazy, nothing more out of control, nothing more likely to embarrass you in a fucking restaurant than a woman that knows you ain't gonna hit her. <laughs> when a woman is with a man, she knows 100% ain't gonna hit her. Woo! She can't wait for him to do something wrong so she can yell at him like a little boy. What the fuck you gonna do? Kiss my ass. I don't care where we at. Just kiss my ass. You punk. You punk ass. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And the man's like, how the fuck we get here? i tell you how you got there. You got in an argument with your woman and went too far and that was it. And women, you know you can go too far. She's like, oh, you can't, yes, you can go too fucking far. I'm a man, and if I'm having an argument with a man that's bigger than me, I know there's a zone I don't go into. Okay? <laughs> there's a zone I don't fuck with, okay? And women, you can go to, women will go at you. They don't give a fuck, they'll spit on you, they'll hit you. What the fuck you gonna do? 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 Then she say something, then they say the wrong thing. It's like, that's why your mama's a bitch. <laughs> And she knows she went too far. Then she braces herself for the hit. Like. <laughs> then the hit don't come. She's like, ooh, I got him now, you little dick motherfucker. Kiss my ass. You little dick motherfucker. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I fucked all your friends. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I was tossing salads, child. Don't think, don't leave it. Don't think it's cool to hit women. I ain't on that shit now. I ain't never, yo, don't think that's cool. I've never hit a woman in my life. I would never hit a woman. I ain't on that shit. I would never, ever hit a woman in my life. Never. That ain't cool. I would never hit a woman. Nah. But I'll shake the shit out of one. What the hell's wrong with you? You crazy woman. I'll kill you, girl. What the fuck you tossing salads for? Are you crazy? Are you a fucking nut? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I'll let go when you shut up. Girl, I'll shake this weave out your head. I don't give a fuck. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna let go.
go. And you're going you're gonna to sit down there, you're going to fucking eat your food, and we're going to argue when we get home, all right? I don't want to hear no shit. You're going to fucking eat your fucking food, and we're going to argue when we get home, okay? Okay? Okay, I'm going to let go. I've been on here shit. right now the number one reason people hate America the number one reason is because of our religion Americans worship money we worship money separate God from school separate God from work separate God from government but on your money it says in God we trust all my life I've been looking for God and he's right in my pocket Americans worship money, and we all go to the same church, the church at ATM. <laughs> Everywhere you look, there's a new branch popping up, reminding you about how much money you got or how much money you don't got. And if you got less than $20, the machine won't even talk to you. <laughs> the machine's like, you better go see a teller. You ever go to a teller and try to take out $8.50? Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, man, you got to wait on that long-ass line. People doing real transactions in front of you. You get up to the fucking front. You fill out your form, $8.50. The fucking teller looks at it. She look at you. She looks at the shit. She don't even take the money out the drawer. She take it out of her pocket. Here, take the fuck out of her. Now here's the other thing, man. Drugs are illegal, but ATM machines are open 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. For who? Who the fuck is it open for? Have you ever taken out $300 at 4 o'clock in the morning for something positive? When you press that machine at 4 o'clock in the morning, I think a psychiatrist should pop up on the screen and go, come on, man. Save your money, man. Don't buy drugs, buy some rims. They spend it, nigga, they spend it. They spend it, nigga, they spend it. They spend it, nigga, they spend it. I don't know, man. I like older women. I'm, I'm into older women, man. Not, you know. You know, not Wheezy Jefferson old. <laughs> Just older than me. Cause young girls are full of shit. <laughs> they like what they like. So I want them to be this tall, I want his hair to be like this, I want his eyes to be like this, I want to walk like this, talk like this, work here, all this bullshit that got nothing to do with hair and hair. Now you get an older woman, you get an older woman single, she's like, hey, I just want a man. <laughs> he got a dick and a job, I'm happy. <laughs> you know what, you know what else? Older women cook. Older women will cook cook you up some shit. Older women know the power of the pot. They will make you something. Young girl can't make nothing but reservations. Older women know the power of the pot. So they got all these shows on TV, Oprah and Sally Jesse and all this shit telling women how to get a man and all these books, how to get a man. Yo, women, you wanna get a man? This is what you do. You put a pot on a stove. Every day at six o'clock, a man will show up to that pot. <laughs> Yo, fellas, am I lying? Hell no. A pot on a stove every day. Not once a week, not twice a week. Every fucking day at six o'clock, a man, men from miles around that you have never met will show up to that pot. But 
Bring out all this shit, how to get a man. You dress like this and do your hair like this and walk like this and talk like this and sex this and sex that. Anybody can suck a dick. But gravy's a whole nother story. take a sweet potato pie over a big ass any day. I will drop kick a girl for some banana pudding. Ice cold banana pudding been sitting in the refrigerator all night. Get your ass That's right. It's damn near impossible for a man to turn down sex. It's ho 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 for a man to turn down sex. If we can stop chasing it, and even that requires some rehab. <laughs> but it's hard for a man to stop. Woo, eternal life. If it chase us, we can't run that fast. <laughs> it gonna catch us. We're like, ah, 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 shit. Pull the hamstring. It got me, it got me, it got me. It can't run that fast. See, it's easy for women to turn down sex. It ain't shit for y'all to turn down sex. It ain't no thing for y'all to turn down sex. Y'all like, how come you, why can't you turn it down? I do it all the time, I do it all the time. Why can't you say no? I say no. See, it's easy for y'all. You know why? Because every woman in here, ever since you was 13, every guy you met's been trying to fuck you. That's right. Women are offered dick every day. Every woman in here gets offered dick at least three times a week. Three times a day, shit. That's right. Every time a man's being nice to you, all he's doing is offering dick. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, could I get that for you? How about some dick? Oh, uh, could I help you with that? Could I help you with some dick? <laughs> Do you need some dick? <laughs> Nobody offers us shit. We got to fend for ourselves. We can't believe it when we get off. We're like, damn, this is my lucky day. I'm 21, I live at home, I gotta move out. I have to move out. Because everybody in my neighborhood, nobody ever moves out. I have friends that are 28 years old and live at home. Uh, this is pathetic. There's nothing more pathetic than a 28-year-old man that lives at home. Only one thing, and that's any woman willing to sneak into his room. <laughs> so once you pay taxes, you, sh you shouldn't have to tiptoe past anybody. And I live at home, and my mother likes to clean up my room. And whenever my mother cleans up my room, she always takes out all my dirty magazines. And whenever your mother takes your dirty magazines, you can't say anything about it. If she don't say nothing, you don't say nothing. <laughs> and to play it off like they were never there in the first place. And you're sitting there eating breakfast, eating breakfast with your mother and there's like that tension at the breakfast table because you're not like her little baby anymore. You're like some pervert she's giving birth to. <laughs> so you try to strike up any kind of conversation, you know, like, Ma, have you seen my baseball glove? Your mother goes, well, maybe you left it in the penthouse. <laughs> Sometimes you don't find out until it's like too late. It's like three o'clock in the morning, you need your book before you go to bed, right? <laughs> you're looking around, so you have to search the whole house for any picture with a woman on it. <laughs> and finally, you settle for Aunt Jemima. Sad, sad, sad. I don't know, man. A lot of women here tonight, that's good. I like women, my mother's a woman, that helps. You know what cool thing about women? Women get to have platonic friends. He's my pal, he's my bud. He's my platonic friend, I love him like a brother. He's my bud, my platonic friend. Men don't have platonic friends, okay? We just have women we haven't fucked yet. As soon as I figure this out, I'm in there. I mean, I got, I mean we got some platonic friends, but oh no, I got some, but they all by accident. Every platonic friend I got is some woman I was trying to fuck. I made a wrong turn somewhere. And ended up in the friend zone. Oh no! I'm in the friend zone! Oh. 
Women keep platonic friends forever. Why? Because you never know. That's right, they get rid of girlfriends every six months. What happened to Pam? She thinks she cute. But they keep them platonic friends forever. Why? Because you never know. What happened to Carol? I can't hang with her. But they keep them platonic friends forever. Why? Because you never know. You know what a platonic friend is to a woman? It's like a dick in a glass case. In case of emergency, break open glass. And fellas, if your woman got platonic friends, that's who she'll be fucking when you mess up. One of them guys you ain't even thinking about, boy. She be crying on the show. I can't believe this happened. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> That's right. It's gonna happen to you. You know the next man to fuck your woman. You've met him. He's been in your house. He's ate your food. He's drank your wine, and he shall betray you. <laughs> women got it good. One thing I learned about women, guys, never ask a woman how many men she slept with. Cause you don't want to know. <laughs> Just be happy you're fucking her now. <laughs> Why you want to know? You ain't discovering shit. You ain't putting a flag nowhere. Just be happy you're getting it now. Why, why, why you want to know? Why, 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 why? Why you want to First of all, no matter what she say, it's too much for you. <laughs> no matter what she say, she can go two. You be like, two? <laughs> two? Two? No, 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 two. I guess that's how you was raised. <laughs> Women don't lie. The, the, why you wanna make your woman? Cause she's gonna lie. Women don't lie about how many guys she fucked in court. They don't care. But, yeah, I swear. <laughs> yeah. If she says three, that's ten. That's why you gotta give every woman like a seven dick curve. That's more like three dicks to the eighth power. <laughs> and women, y'all think y'all slick. Y'all ain't slick. I know the game I watch it unfold, boy. You ask a woman how many guys she fucked, she's not gonna tell you how many guys she fucked. She'll tell you how many boyfriends she had. Because women only count their boyfriends. That's right, they don't count all those miscellaneous dicks they had. That guy they met at the club, the guy they fucked from the club that night. Oh, that time they fucked Bobby Brown. Oh, oh, the guy they fucked in Jamaica. That's another country. It don't count. I thought we just talking about domestic dick. That's right, man. And everybody talking about gun control. Gotta get rid of the guns. Fuck that. I like guns. You got a gun, you don't have to work out. <laughs> I ain't working out. I ain't jogging. You got texts? I got texts. <laughs> oh, that shit. You don't need no gun control. You know what you need? We need some bullet control. We need to, make, we need to control the bullets. That's right. I think all bullets should cost $5,000. $5,000 for a bullet. You know why? Because if a bullet costs $5,000, there'll be no more innocent bystanders. <laughs> The end. The end. Every time somebody gets shot, you be like, damn, he must have did something. <laughs> Should they put 50000 dollars worth of bullets in his hand? <laughs> and people will think before they kill somebody if a bullet costs five thousand dollars. Man, I would blow your fucking head off if I could afford it. <laughs> I'm gonna get me another job. I'm gonna start saving some money. And you a dead man. You better hope I can't get no bullets on layaway. So even if you get shot by a straight bullet, you won't have to go to no doctor to get it taken out. Whoever shot you will take their bullet back. I believe you got my property. <laughs> I don't know, women. You know the cool thing about women, I like about women? 
A woman can fall in love with an ugly man and admit it. Show him off to all her friends and her family, be the ugliest guy in the world. And I'll be so proud of that ugly man, they'll hold his hand, drag him around the place, introduce him to people like, this is Kevin, I want you to meet Kevin. I know he's not that attractive, but he's good to me. Men aren't like that. A man will never admit to being in love with an ugly woman, okay? We'll hide that shit to the death. We ain't telling nobody. Shit, we could be getting married. So, hey, man, I heard you get married. Who told you that? <laughs> don't spread no rumors, all right? You know, some of you women don't know if you're ugly or not. Gotta give yourself a test. Just a little test. Don't be scared. Yo, have you been over a guy's house more than four times, been fucked every time, and haven't met anybody in the house? He don't think you look that good. <laughs> like every time you go over, all you see is one room. <laughs> but I gotta pee. Hold it in. <laughs> I know that's mean. I know that's mean. Men, we got women we just fuck but won't take out. Oh, that's mean. That's right. We got women we just fuck but won't take out. But women, y'all just as mean. Y'all got men you let take out, but you won't fuck. This guy's on dates right now, ain't getting shit. So yeah, I'ma loosen her up a little comedy. She's like, ain't nothing that funny. That's right, you can't ha-ha your way into this. See, that's the problem with men. We always think we could buy sex. Like, if I take it here, she give me some. If I buy this, she give me some. Nothing gets you none. Shit, a woman knows she's gonna fuck you within the first five minutes of meeting you. Women know on the handshake, they shaking hands like, I'ma fuck him. <laughs> I hope he don't say nothing stupid. That's right. Can't say nothing stupid because women are all about the mood. That's right. If she's in the mood, just shut up. Let it happen. Because <laughs> if you say the wrong thing, them pages are coming up fast and you can wake up. Like, Excuse me, what you say? <laughs> Tell you, man. I don't know. Relationships, rough. Easy to get in one. Easy to get in a relationship hard to maintain, you know, it's like in marriage. Marriage to me is not even a natural state to be married for life. Anything for life just promotes laziness, okay? Marriage shouldn't be for life. Marriage should be like a driver's license. Five years and renew. <laughs> Shit, if I love that fourth year, ooh, it'd be good, man. It's rough, man. It's hard, man. It's hard to maintain a relationship, man. Because at some point, no matter who it is, at some point you have heard everything this person has to say. You heard it all. You know what they get ready to say before they even say it. You remember that time? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> they ever tell you, yeah, you told me. <laughs> you have heard it all. And then what happens? You stop talking. Have a breakdown of communication. Yet you gotta talk, because women love to talk. Women love to talk. If they had talking in the Olympics, a man wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> women love to talk. And fellas, women don't want us to talk to them. They just want us to set them up. That's all women want you to do. If you're in a relationship with a woman, it's like being in a comedy team, and you're the straight man. Just set her up, feed her lines. All the women want you to do is go, how was your day? That's all the fuck they want. How was your day? Because how was your day is a half hour conversation to a woman. It's a whole half hour. And you as the man, the only thing you got to do is go, uh-huh, get out of here. Really? Get out of here. I told you that bitch is crazy. <laughs> but eventually, hey, women, you talk too much. You do. You got to learn how to turn it down a little bit. You ever notice no man comes straight home? No man comes straight home. Every man in here has to go somewhere as soon as he gets off work. He got to go drink something, snort something, shoot something in his veins, something to get him ready for the talking that he's about to hear. Something to deaden his senses. And women, it's not that you talk too much. You talk too much as soon as we get in the house. As soon as we get in the door. You ain't going to believe it. Guess what happened? To you ain't gonna believe that. You ain't gonna believe what happened today. And guess what happened? To hey, let me get in the fucking house. Let me get my other foot in there. Shit, come on. Let me read the paper. Let me have something to eat. Let me take a shit there. Y'all gotta go. Y'all be cool. But wait a minute. 
There's one exception. There's one exception. There's one instance where white people can say nigga. And I'm gonna let it out tonight. I'm gonna let it out here in Johannesburg. The one time that white people can say nigga. And white people are like, this is what I paid for. It's a fucking great night now. The one time white people can say nigga. And here goes, listen closely. Cause I may never say this shit again. The one time white people can say nigga. Okay. If it's Christmas Eve, and it's between 4.30 and 4.49 in the morning. If you white and you on your way to Toys R Us to get your kid the last Transformer doll. And right before you walk into Toys R Us, some black person runs up beside you, smacks you in the head with a brick, knocks you to the ground, stomps you in the face, take that you crack ass motherfucker, take that you crack ass motherfucker, take that you crack ass motherfucker, 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 take that. River dances on your head, take that you crack ass motherfucker, crack ass motherfucker, crack ass motherfucker, take that you crack ass motherfucker, takes your money, pisses on you, and runs away. If you white at that moment, you can say, somebody stop that nigga! Matter of fact, if you white and that happens to you, you can say nigga for a whole month. <laughs> But you gotta walk around with the police report in your pocket. <laughs> Case any black people catch you saying nigga, the police report will act as your freedom papers. <laughs> hey, I heard you saying nigga, let me see your fucking papers. <laughs> Give me the papers, show me the papers! <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> 448. You just made it, motherfucker. Pissed on you. I hope they catch that nigga.